MMA Boxing Talk here. I just want to talk about Stipe Miocic versus Junior Dos Santos. The rematch just took place this Saturday, this past Saturday, I should say. And um, wow, Stipe Miocic went out there and did what he's been doing for a while now. And that's get his opponent out of there in the first round. First round TKO, Stipe Miocic defends his title for the second time, which ties UFC heavyweight record. Um, no heavyweight in the UFC has ever defended their title more than twice. There's only been four heavyweight champions to defend their title twice before Stipe. And that is Randy Couture, Tim Sylvia, Brock Lesnar, and Cain Velasquez. And Stipe Miocic is the fifth. What's next for Stipe? That's the question. But before I get into that, just quickly want to talk about the fight. You know, Junior came out, was landing some nice leg kicks. You know, pretty well messed up Stipe's leg pretty bad. Stipe was already limping in that fight in the first round. Um, but I think maybe the fact that his leg was obviously bothering him, limping, um, I think he had a little extra sense of urgency to get Junior out of there. And when he started putting that pressure on, um, Junior, uh, he just he couldn't get his back off the cage, you know. And the same thing happened in the Cain Velasquez fights. And, and uh, Junior also spent a lot of time on his back, or ha had sorry, Junior spent a lot of time with his back against the cage in this, the first fight with Stipe. So, but this one, I mean, Stipe just needed one big clean shot to land. He landed some nice ones before that as well. But, um, yeah, I mean, Junior fell forward. I mean, word is, the worst knockouts are when you fall forward. And I know he wasn't out cold, but he got cracked. And when you watch the, the fight, you can really hear the sound. Um, the sound that Stipe, you know, his fist made when it hit Junior's the side of his face there. But, um, you know, Stipe continuing on his dominance. Um, this is four fights in a row where Stipe gets a first round stoppage. Um, I mean, what more can you say about the guy? He's not perfect. You know, every fight you can look at, you, you can you can take a little from him, you know, um, and, and, and nitpick when he won his title, you know, okay, Overeem, uh, Overdoom charged at him. It's not Stipe's fault. He took care of business and dropped him with one punch, put him out cold. Against the Alistair Overeem fight, you know, people were saying, well, Stipe got dropped. He almost got submitted with a guillotine. Um, but he got the job done. He got through. Um, and then in this fight, you know, people might say, oh, well, you know, he was taking, he wasn't checking the leg kicks. Someone that, you know, really can kick, can, can move more and be smarter and, and stay off the, the back against the cage. But the thing is, is he always gets the job done. And he might not be the most technical. He's very well rounded, and he's got he's got good technique. Don't get me wrong, but he's just a different beast in there. He's a dangerous dude to to deal with, and I think he's going to hold the belt for a long time. Personally, I think he's going to break the record, um, and maybe shatter it. You know, uh, we'll see. But what's next for for Stipe though? I think Cain Velasquez is next. You know, and I know he's not 100 percent right now. He's not in the gym training very hard. He's in the gym, back still bothering him a bit, but they don't have to fight till the fall, you know, October, even November, December. Um, give Kane his time, you know, let let Kane heal up, you know, let him heal. Um, I'm more than certain he can be ready to fight in the fall or at the end of 2018 or 2017. He just fought last year, last summer. He looked great against, uh, obviously, Travis Brown, who's not Stipe Miocic, but he did look great. So that's the fight, to me, that makes the most sense, you know? And Because, I mean, Stipe, he's beat the number one contender right now, which is Werdum. He beat Alistair Overeem, who's number three contender. He beat Junior Dos Santos. Number two guy is Kane. It, it's got to be Kane next. Um, it's the only one that makes sense. Unless, I think if... Where Doom looks really good against Alistair Overeem and gets past him, and let's just say Kane's not ready. Let say he wants a, a fight to get to prepare for for Stipe, or he has to go for another surgery or whatever. If 
that's the case and Werdum happens to get passed over him, I think that's the fight to make because, you know, Werdum, he lost the fight fair and square, you know, but he was not fighting at his best. Werdum, heart, like, I've never seen Werdum just bum rush someone so recklessly, you know, and, and I give Stipe all the credit for that win. I'm not taking nothing away from him. I'm just saying if Cain Velasquez isn't ready to fight and Werdum gets passed over him, that's, I, I make the rematch with Werdum, but let's hope Cain can get in there and fight Stipe because that's the fight to make. Great, great style matchup. I love that fight. Um, you know, two guys that can really wrestle. Cain's wrestling's a little better. Both guys have good boxing. Stipe's boxing, I think, is a little bit better. Stipe is obviously a little bit bigger. Um, I don't know who's stronger. They're both animals. Um, both have pretty good cardio. Kane, maybe a little more, but, you know, with the inactivity, who knows? I want to see that fight real bad. Um, let Stipe wipe out every everyone, you know, and let a guy like Francis Ngannou have a little more time to get a few more wins under his belt before he, he you know, if he can get, if he can keep winning, but you know, get him, get him some, some more experience before a guy like Ngannou goes for a title shot. Um, I think Ngannou should maybe fight like a, the winner of Mark Hunt versus Derek Lewis. I don't see him going any any past that. Like he's got to be fighting the top guys from here on out. I think. And, and Francis Ngannou, I mean, he just moved to Vegas. I think a month ago, talking about getting ready for the next level. So he's going to be fighting top guys. Possibly the winner of Lewis Hunt. Maybe he'll fight Junior Dos Santos. I mean, who knows? Um, I don't like that fight for Dos Santos, you know, right after losing the way he did to Stipe. Um, or if, if you know, if Cain Velasquez happens to fight Stipe, then I would give Francis Ngannou the winner of We're Doom and Over Him. That's what I would do. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. The heavyweight division, it's got a real legit champion now. Someone that defended their belt twice. That's saying something in the UFC heavyweight division. Um, I hope he beats the record. I love Stipe. You know, he's a blue-collar guy. He's very, very modest. You know, he, he's he's a real role model. And um, I hope he holds the belt for a while. Let me know what you guys think, who you want to see him fight next. But yeah, definitely Cain Velasquez next. If that doesn't happen, yeah, I guess you got to give him the winner of We're Doom and Overeem. But um, yeah, that's it for this one. Peace out. If you liked the video, definitely subscribe. Also, check me out on Twitter at MMABoxingTalk1. Peace.